Hey guys, my name is Barry Infuls and this is a tutorial on how to get the maximum performance out of GTA Vice City Stories on a PSP emulator. The emulator I'll be using is the PPSS PP1 and I'll show you the settings I use and what works best for your machine. My current hardware is on the screen right now. Emulators are very CPU demanding and PPSS PP is no exception. If you have a slow CPU then the game will run terribly no matter what settings you choose. I get constant 30 FPS even in the busy intersections with my settings. If you unlock the frame rate to 60 the game will run at double speed. So just aim for 30. Alright, so let's get into the settings, shall we? I'll only show the important things and the things which actually make a difference, not the in-between. The most important tab is the graphics tab. So let's begin with here. For backend, I prefer OpenGL, you can use Vulkan too, but uh, I think that OpenGL is a little bit better than Vulkan, so use this only. For mode, choose buffered rendering, because if you choose anything else, you're gonna get black screens. And that's not good. Just put for trying to drink on here. Now for this setting this uh, makes your machine a little bit slower so don't choose this if you have a better CPU than mine of course. Mess around with this one, however I prefer not having it on. For frame skipping, leave this at 2. This is when you drop frames, for instance if you have 30 FPS and all of a sudden you drop to 25 FPS, if you choose 2 you're not gonna notice such a difference. If it's at off, you're gonna notice a huge difference. And you can mess around with the numbers over here. I have it at 2, I think this is the perfect amount. Leave this on, leave this on too. You can mess around with this one, I stick to 600. This doesn't make much of a difference, however, you can mess around with it if you want to. I leave it at 600%. The post processing shader, you can mess around with this if you want to, I prefer not doing that because this is just for effects. For instance, if you want your game to be black and white, you can choose grayscale, if you want it to look cartoonish, you can choose any of the other ones. This gives you a performance hit and also makes your game look weird, so I choose not to change this. If you want to play at full screen, you can choose this. This gives you a little bit of performance hits, however not too much, so I just don't leave it on. This is one of the most important settings in this graphics tab. So, the PSP runs at a resolution of 420 by 272 If you choose 1 times PSP, this is the resolution it's gonna play at. If you choose the 2 times one, it is 960 by 544. This is the resolution which the game is gonna play at. The third one is more closer to 720p and the setting which most people are gonna aim for. It is 440 by 816. This is what most people are gonna aim for with these lower machines. I aim for 4. This is the 1080p resolution. And if you have a good machine, you can choose this resolution or even go for 4K if you want to. If you have a better CPU than mine, of course, go for something big. However, most people are gonna go for 3 and 2. And if your machine is very slow, you can choose 1 times PSP. However, if you choose this option and the full screen option, the game is gonna look absolutely awful. So try to aim for something bigger, not 4, but maybe 2 or 3. Right, so next of all. V-Sync, the game runs at 60 FPS constantly, so there's no reason to do that. Anything else, you can choose my, you can see my settings over here, nothing to change. This one gives a performance hit, a huge performance hit, so I suggest leaving it at medium. I have it at high because my machine is good, so yeah, mess around with this one of course. You can see these settings and this, this is the most important settings in this whole tutorial. I suggest leaving this at off. This option gives you the biggest performance hit, so I don't suggest using it. You should start at 2 times upscale level and then work your way up to 5. If at 5 you get massive frame drops, then lower it of course. So yeah, this is the most important setting. And the upscale level should always be at XBRZ. Don't change this, because the other ones look pretty bad. Right, anything else, anything else. Anistrophy filtering, do not change this at all. 
This gives you a massive performance hit, so yeah, don't mess around with this one. Texture filtering, all two of course. Linear. Timer hack, do not change any of these because these give you glitches. The game becomes very glitchy, you're gonna get texture, more texture popping and weird textures on the cars and on the pets and whatnot, so do not change that at all. Anything else? Yeah, this disables stencil test. If you have this setting off, when you aim with an RPG, you have a green square on the screen. However, if you turn this on, the green square will be gone and you can actually see where you're aiming. So again, check mark this and you're all set. There we go, for this uh, I always have this at none. This basically shows the speed and the frames per second in game. If you wanna monitor your frame rates, then of course leave this at both or at FPS only. And later on, after you're satisfied with your results, then turn it off. I always have it at none, because I have already set my settings. Okay, so this is it for the first tab, the graphics tab. For audio, I pretty much don't change anything except for this audio latency. Definitely leave this at low, because if you it's set high, you're gonna have some, some issues with the audio. It's gonna uh, crackle from time to time, so do not change this at all. And of course enable sound, if you want sound of course. For the controls, I will show you my settings. I use a, an Xbox One controller and these are my settings. You can copy them if you want to. You can of course use a keyboard and a mouse. The mouse movement is really bad in this game and in basically in PSP games it's pretty pretty bad so do not use a mouse. I suggest not using a mouse. For networking I did not change anything. For tools, system, I also did not change anything. Leave this at fast. And this is the rest, I did not change anything. And this is pretty much it for all the settings guys, let me show you how the game actually looks. And welcome to Vice City Stories. It's currently running at 1080p 30fps. Again, the settings I went for are a bit higher than what you may choose so your game may not look so good. This is the most demanding area in the game and with a higher upscale level I dropped to 20, 25, even to 15 FPS. So yeah, this is how it performs, I'm even recording a video currently which takes more CPU power and my PC still handles it very well with these settings. Even with all the explosions you can see the frames on the top right, they are at constant 30. Again, if you unlock the frame rate, you get double speed and the game becomes unplayable. In the background, you can see GTA Liberty City Stories 2, so these settings work on many other games. And that's it! If you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. You can also watch my 100% walkthrough of Vice City Stories. I use similar settings there and you can see how the game performs during cutscenes and scripted events. Alright guys, thanks for watching, leave a like if I helped you and I'll see you in the next video.